They probably said it much better. No, 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 no. They want to shoot. Yes. Still there. Oh, really? What was like for you, 79, because you're a rookie on that team to be in the first team that goes to Omaha? I know. You know, at that, at that age, they take advantage of you, too. <laughs> they threw rocks at me and stuff like that. But, you know, it was just something different for me being from Arkansas and playing baseball wasn't real well thought of at the time. I was fortunate enough to play at a high school that actually had a ball team, then got to play American Legion. But, it, you know, it was kind of a – this was what you see as a kid growing up in the state of Arkansas. You know, and that was just kind of a magical year. It could really put Arkansas baseball on the map. When you got here as a freshman, did you have any idea you guys could be that good and go to Omaha? Because Arkansas had never done anything close to that. No, I didn't. You know, I, I look back on it now, I don't even know what I did think. You know, it was just as a, the mindset of a kid then, plus what you see now is a lot different. There's all kinds of stuff going on, but you know, just playing, just come up here and see where you fit in, and go out and try to do your job. What do you think about when you see the facilities and these crowds now? Because you guys were probably the team that kind of laid the foundation for all this stuff that's happened since then. Well, this—I mean, this is incredible what they've got now. You know, being fortunate enough to play in pro ball, it's as good as any AAA facilities around the country, and I don't care. What anybody says, it's it's a far cry from what it was back then, to put it me mildly. How fun a weekend is it when you get together? I know you've been, I know you guys were up here from Texas game last year, but when you get a big group together like this, I mean, how fun has this been? How special? Well, the stories always get better. Uh, a lot of the stories get for, are forgotten, but you know, it's just good to see that you know these guys. We're all getting in the 60s now. It's it's good to see only one of the guys has passed away at this point. That's really unusual. So it's good to see who still has hair and who doesn't. But all the ones that have it, it's still gray. So that's a good. It's a good good thing to get together. Norm said, "You guys. And I don't know if you were a freshman. I don't know, but he said you got the team gave him a real hard time. It was hard to coach you guys." Oh, if that ain't a pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> yeah, I remember a day when he had the outfielders out there by the center field fence firing fungos at us from about 20 feet. Now, you tell me who, you know, I was a freshman. I was too scared to do anything but what I was supposed to do. So there may have been other stuff going on, I don't know. Yeah, we all see Norm now, and he's just grandfatherly guy and everything, but I know he was storming Norm and – Back in the day, I mean, what was he like to play for? Oh, he was a great guy to play for, but he he could get fired up from time to time, and you know what you you want to see that. I mean, I think a coach should get fired up. You know, when you're not doing your job or your team's not doing what they're supposed to be doing, or he thinks you should be doing better than what we are. I mean, it's time to to get a little of the ass. But even if you talk to some of the 2009 team guys, it's kind of cool to think. I mean, Arkansas has been to a lot of different World Series now, but to think 40 years apart, there was two teams. There was 89 team too. So, you know, it's it's just a magical time in a young man's life to be in college and playing a sport and being successful. So it's just it's special. No matter when it actually happened, it just so happened that. I grew up in time, just kind of been, was one of the trendsetters for the actual university itself. And, you know, and, and Coach DeBryan did such a great job. And then, of course, Coach Van Horn has really carried the tradition even further.